Hey everybody, welcome to Hellbox Reviews. I'm staying with my lovely wife Tanya here again, and it's the final episode, episode six, uh, the finale for Obi Wan. We're doing our reaction for it. Um, it's kind of weird to sort of be here now. Yeah, it Just, feels too soon for it to end. Yeah, it's it's like there's a lot to like bookend. And we, it doesn't feel like we really got an Obi Wan show. Not at show. all. Not at all. It's like kind of every time it feels like it was picking up with him, it would just divert to yep. another freaking character or, or segment with something that's not really that fun and yeah. interesting. You can tell like Ewan McGregor is just such a seasoned actor and I love every uh, minute that he's in. Um, I suppose because he's done so many movies, he's got that seasoning um, on him. But the 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 writing is just so bad. Yeah, we didn't get really too much post traumatic stress. Like we got that one flashback mm. where they're training and stuff to try and kind of compensate for. Yeah. Why did Vader say when I left you, I was about to learn? Now I'm the master, and it's just kind of like, mm -hmm. was this just to try and fix that? Like. <sighs> But anyway, um, so we'll jump into this. Uh, yep. Is there any predictions? Um, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm just going to go in this, just see what happens. It's so weird. We're not even like super pumped for it and mm -hmm. stuff. We live in a world where we haven't even watched the Hawkeye series because That's we're true. not... We're not even hyped about it because we already know it's a bait and switch with Kate Bishop, uh, Haley Steinfeld's character. So... Okay, so we'll get into this and we'll give our review after it. Let's go. Cool, here we go. So, of course, back on Tatooine. Yeah, I'm like kind of, God, I've been missing Tatooine. Everyone's been complaining about the whole, ugh, Mandalorian, we're on Tatooine. And yeah, well, now it's going to be Reva taking Luke Skywalk uh, Skywalker hostage and all that. I wish you're not dead. Yeah. Lightsaber to the gut. How'd she even get out? This is there so There was lame. two ships on that planet. James L. Jones' voice is it's, great. Yeah, it's great, but it's it's trying to pay homage back to um, homage yeah. back to um, Empire. That is Ice Cube's son. Is it? Yeah. I knew it. He looks too much like him. So everyone's gonna jump into a skate pod. To lead them away. You know what I hate? This star chasing... You know, the ships just chasing each other. It's like... The Empire has fast engines. What do you mean fast engines? They're literally behind them. They could catch up easily and just destroy them. Yeah, but they're going with the last Jedi storyline. I don't like it. it's so stupid. It's not a car race, guys. <laughs> Luke's blonde head... It's okay. Like it sucks. You see, Yul McGregor. He's trying. Mm. He's he's trying to do what he's what he's got best. Hey, Aussie girl. Yay, Tunisia. It's not filmed in Tunisia. That's a we set. We gotta go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we have to go. We gotta have Brew take charge, don't we? But she was the sweet one. Exactly. You know, this really sucks. We got that show called Krypton. Yeah. And I really enjoyed that. If you made a show called Alderaan or The Last Years of Alderaan and just base it around Leia and have this kid narrate it, talking about this is not about how the planet died, this is about how we lived. Mm. And... You could have made the show like that. People would have watched this oh, beautiful yeah. city, beautiful world that got destroyed by the Empire. Mm -hmm. But they said, no, let's shoehorn this into Obi-Wan and take away from your McGregor. Same with, um, you know, here's Vader, but not really. It's mm. more Reva. And it's like, all right, well, freaking, what's the point of making this front and centre Obi-Wan Kenobi show when it's really not Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's more based on Leia and Reaver and freaking all the other side characters. 
That character should have been Soul. I was just thinking, like, does he change his name to Soul Guerrero or something? Would have been cool if it was just them two. Nice shot. Yeah. Does Reva, like, confront him and feel that he's Anakin's son? Who knows? And at this point, who cares? Like, is this side story necessary when all we care about is this guy and Obi-Wan? Like, Vader seems a little reckless here, but maybe he's still in the revenge stage. I, I, I made peace with there is nothing that can top that Mustafa lightsaber duel that they had. Oh, yeah. That with the way that Lucas, George Lucas, did all of that. Mm. It was so badass, and it, was, it lived up to everything that I had in my mind whenever I did watch the original trilogy growing up, just thinking, like, oh, what was that fight like? Or what happened, like, when, you know, Obi-Wan is talking about, you know, when I first met your father, he's already a great pilot. But, um, yeah, with this, it's kind of like seeing that first little fight that they had. They're obviously having another one now. What does this achieve for her? I don't understand. Yeah, it's it just keeps saying it lazy riding. Like she was literally a or kid. shoehorn riding. Yeah. Traumatized by Anakin coming and slaughtering everyone, and she's at Luke's farm wanting to what kill him. This confuses me. I feel no motive behind it. Besides trying to hurt Obi Wan. Yeah, and how do you know that? Obi-Wan would come after Leia. What was your tip-off? There's no explanation to that. And obviously we know these guys don't kill each other. Yeah. It's good background though. Yeah. This is just them sparring like they used to in revenge. Just pull one of those little air sockets out. <laughs> You'll be right. Yeah. It's kind of like Anakin with his cyborg arms and legs and stuff, like, well, he's Vader now, so he lumbers. Mm. He doesn't move like he used to. Yeah. So I can understand why he's not doing his big kick flips and everything. Mm. He's more like solid hard strikes. I just really hope they don't make Vader look like a rollover. Well, he doesn't beat Obi-Wan in New Hope. He, like, Obi-Wan just... You know, lays down his arms and is just like, all right. That was just. Well, just waiting. Like, I love the, you know, the creaking and the cracking of, you know, yeah. the hero re emerging. This is BS. If Luke sees a lightsaber. You know, it defeats everything that Obi-Wan's... Yeah, they are literally just killing the originals at this point. Yeah. Like, he knows nothing of the Jedi. He's lived a solitary, normal, farm, yeah, boring life. Luke's looking at the lightsaber when Obi-Wan first hands it to him. He's like, what is this? It's like an elegant weapon used for a more civilized time. That's stupid. I know. It's a wasted opportunity. <laughs> I... He thinks of Luke and Leia for... Well, more so Leia for inspiration. Imagine if he heard his old master's voice. Now is not the time to give up, Obi-Wan. Yeah. You still have much to learn, my young apprentice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this does look kind of cool. It looks cool, oh, yeah, yeah, but... I mean, you get this in the game. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Damn. <laughs> That's a good way to def try and, like, defeat him. Smash out those breathing apparatus. Yeah. Bane him. Yeah. Like Batman. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, he got his helmet open. Like, I love that um, in Star Wars Rebels when... Um, Ahsoka does it. Yeah, Ahsoka does it. And you see he's still there. 
Yeah. It's heartbreaking, isn't mm. it? I thought he would have taken his legs off. I thought he would have taken his legs and arms off again. Back to the pointless plot line <laughs> storyline here. Well, Obi Wan's just going to get there in time and kill her. He knows nothing of the Force. Come on, yeah. man. This is the most stupidest story arc ever. Like the most desperate freaking attempt to try and make this character relevant and it's just it doesn't work i'm good now i didn't kill a child are you proud <sighs> hey you didn't come to this conclusion before come on reva but not just brain. not just that oh redeemed oh my god i didn't kill him <laughs> just like you bitch <laughs> yeah <laughs> She just soccer kicked her in the yeah. face. It's really bad freaking writing. What about all the other people she did kill? Yeah, what about all the people that... The, what's her name? There's a lady walking around with no hand on Tatooine. Right. Like, that's another thing, too. Vader survives, lands up on Endor... After the Death Star blows up, he gets tried for war crimes yeah. against freaking um, all the innocent and stuff. It's like, yeah, redemption's hard, but it's not that easy. But it's not even, it's like, this was so badly written. Mm. And obviously, like, what's her name? The actor of her has to work with what she's got. Exactly. It's the same thing too with Obi like the Obi Wan like character where that's written. This is like so shoehorned. Like you could remove this the Reva story, story out of Obi Wan completely and it makes the show better because you get more time with Obi Wan. Yeah. Ben Kenobi. And yeah, and, and to see like the yin and the yang to like each character. Mm-hmm. Like, how cool would have been, like, that storyline, um, you know, where his thoughts dwell on Padme and stuff? Yeah, seeing a quick shot of him go to uh, either Naboo. Mm. Oh, so we're back on Alderaan, the, another shoehorned storyline that we didn't really need. She's going to be all like, I'm going to get into politics. Well, that's the thing. That's what George intended her to be. She was supposed to be in episode seven, eight, and nine, rebuilding the Republic, and she becomes Chancellor. If Luke's rebuilding the Jedi Order, it's Leia that's rebuilding um, the Republic, the New Republic. Order on a peaceful planet. Yep. Yeah, this kind of ruins what a New Hope storyline and all that. See. This is good. That's really good. Because how old were they? The 19. So um, it's nine more years from here. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's such a shame we didn't get more of his sort of journey. Mm. Just as, I just wanted to see him, like, maybe make contact with uh, Qui-Gon, do a little train session. Yeah, that, that would have been really awesome. Men in communication with uh, other masters, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. How about Mace Windu? Still alive. That'd be cool. See, and that's another thing that sucks. We didn't get Obi-Wan earning that trust with Owen. Mm. You know, to, to be able to give that to... Um, to Luke. So where is he moving to now? He's going to his little uh, his little place, his little hut. Because he wasn't in a cave. Um, mm, true. In uh, A New Hope. This should have happened in the first episode. Hmm. <laughs> Cute. Credits. <laughs> it's a very long-winded ending. Yeah. 
See, that, that was a kind of a nice little wink at the fans. Mm. Hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. finally. Yep. Looking cool, Qui-Gon. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> That's so cool. That should have been the whole thing. That should have been the first freaking episode. <laughs> God dang it. What the frick? Come on. So lucky there's You end it like through. that. It should have started like this. Yeah. Learning, training. Oh man, that sucks. <sighs> that that was that was long. That's so frustrating. Mm -hmm. That's so like you know, it makes you even like just cannot stand the whole Reva side storyline. Yeah, I'm out of the whole thing. Yeah, it's just it was just <laughs> a waste of time. Like you could have just kept Kenobi on Tatooine the entire time. He's sort of arguing a little bit with, like, you know, Owen and Baru's got to be the one to sort of warm up Owen. Like, you know what? He brought us freaking... Um, our son. You know, like, yeah, our foster son. Like, mm. so shouldn't you let him be part of his life? And Owen's like, no. And then Luke gets kind of lost in the desert or something. Oh, yeah, sick. And then Owen's yeah. like, God, I can't find him. Like, this is the same thing that happened mm. with Shimmy. Mm. Um, my, my stepmother and stuff and then Baru's like look we need him now you have to find him True, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then to have freaking Obi-Wan be like alright cool let's um let's sort this out but um just yeah just like that, that's one episode mm -hmm. then there's another one where you've got freaking like you know Qui-Gon appears and we got the ghost episode where Qui-Gon's like you know things are on a path and, and you can't stop it. No matter how much you try to steer it out of the way, mm -hmm. it's always going to flow in one, one direction. So you have to freaking let it be and stuff and let everyone find some kind of peace that he couldn't have changed mm -hmm. Anakin and Padme's fate or the Jedi's fate or take the blame for like, you know, the fall of the Jedi Knights and stuff by, because he brought in um, Anakin, but to also have like you know this like if you're doing six episodes it could have been like an oceans 11 thing he's working at that little um mm. cutting up the meat and stuff and they're all getting underpaid and he can't intervene and stuff so he turns around and goes okay i'm gonna get this guy this guy this guy this guy who's working here i'm gonna make a little oceans 11 team to more or less steal the money and expose make this guy look like he's Mm. stolen the money and you so could, the yeah. yeah the people in charge are like oh this guy's screwing us the one who's who's running this this meat thing so let's get rid of him and then obi-wan more or less gets this other dude appointed to be in charge mm. and pays everyone fairly and stuff yeah, and kind of makes tatooine a safe haven yeah well not just that like to have obi-wan like sort of like you know the the townspeople mos eisley or whatever they feel like they're getting ripped off at, at mm -hmm. some betting scandal or something. So Obi-Wan gets a bounty hunter and he sort of befriends him a little bit. And then the bounty hunter at the end, he, he helps sort of steal like money or something like, you know, Obi-Wan gives him his cut and then gives a bunch of it back to the townspeople or something um, off whatever place. And, and then they, you know, the bounty hunter goes, oh, you're one of the Jedi that the Empire's looking for and the price on your head is like 10 times more than what mm. you're paying me. And then everyone's going to make that decision of like, all right, I can't be found here. And then freaking he ends up yeah. taking the guy out to show that Obi-Wan's not as squeaky clean. Like, yeah. you know, he has to do what he can to stay on Tatooine because he's got to make sure he gets Luke on the path, in, yeah. yeah, into freaking the direction of Han and Chewie and freaking Leia and, you know, onto the Millennium mm -hmm. Falcon stuff, like just stuff like that. It would have been so much more interesting, but no, we couldn't do that. We had to have Leia kind of shoehorned in there. And like, you could have done a little episode with Leia, but not had her interact too much. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't kind of screw over 
Um, the originals? <laughs> yeah, like the original tr- trilogy and stuff. Because you could have had him just calling like her, oh, hi, Leia. Um, I'm a friend of your parents. And she's like, you know my parents? It's like, yeah. Like, you know, just not too much interaction. Just a one-day thing. Not a, not a whole adventure. Maybe like for inauguration or a coming out uh, get-together for her birthday or something that you yeah. know they invited him down do that kidnap story where she's taken right but don't do it as like you know the empire or the inquisitors yeah. no just have bounty hunters take her yeah and then have them contact you know the organas contact obi-wan and say intelligence say that they've gone out of our reaches of space yeah they've gone to tatooine okay you're there please Bring can you back. help now yeah. And then you have Obi Wan going on the search for for Leia and stuff like just doing that kind of mm. stuff like, but yeah, I just like I keep saying lazy writing like writers, a committee of writers that just don't seem to story. get what Star Wars <laughs> and that character is all about and stuff. Yeah, so we definitely could have had a whole episode on Darth Vader, also coming to terms like like getting maybe more angry or like going through his memories and like, like i said if <coughs> you okay yeah <laughs> do you need a minute i'm just uh choking <laughs> all right <clears throat> you're all right mm-hmm. you weirdo <laughs> but um yeah so like you could have had the yin and yang so if you've got an episode of obi-wan it's going through post-traumatic stress and dealing with the Clone Wars, and could he have done something differently to save, um, like Anakin, or could he have done something differently to save Padme mm-hmm. as well? And then you flash over to Vader, and he's in the banter tank, like, yeah, and he's having flashbacks of, like, could I have done something better to save Padme mm. and not have the Jedi Order get taken down, and you know, just to have. You know, just pop up on the screen. Palpatine be like, your thoughts dwell, Lord mm, Vader. Yeah. And Vader's like, damn, even on the other side of the galaxy, he still knows what I'm up to. I better freaking do what I'm told. Yeah. Just to show, yeah, there is that fatherly figure of Palpatine befriending Anakin. Yeah. But it's also like, I've got my eye on you. Yeah, Are you starting fear, to, yeah. yeah. Just to show Anakin kind of freak out a little bit. Mm. Like, oh man, there's no escaping this guy. He knows when I start to slip a little bit back into Anakin Skywalker. But that line at the end, which I really like, it's like, you didn't, you didn't kill Anakin. I did. Mm. And, um, yeah, just stuff like that. That's cool. That feels like a Filoni line. Well, Filoni. yeah, it's straight from the rebels, isn't it? With, um, Ahsoka. Where it's just like, well, she, that, when, the, the same cut of the, the yeah, helmet, the helmet. everything. And, well, when he turns around and says, um, you know, Ahsoka and she's, Turns around, she's like, Anakin, I won't leave you. Not not this time. And he's just like, well, you'll die then. And his eyes turn like, you know, freaking sort of bloodshot red, but yellow as yellow, well. Yeah. So it's kind of like he's not there anymore. It's part of him sort of was and keeps slipping out. But mm. it's, yeah, it's not him. Yeah, but that's what we thought of this season of Obi-Wan Kenobi. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments below and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Twitch. And should there be a season two? Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.